Hi, Thomas. Welcome to Movie Junk. How are you? I'm actually doing great right now. Just <laughs> finished up um, playing some drums with my brother. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. We have special guest Thomas Perovic joining us today, uh, who fans of the Cobra Kai show know as uh, young Johnny Lawrence. Yep. <laughs> I'm here. This is yeah. me. And we actually have two special guests today, too, because we actually have Thomas joining us today with his mom. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. nice, nice to meet you as well, too. Mm -hmm. I never I never thought that, you know, obviously I'm a huge uh, Cobra Kai and Karate Kid fan. I never thought that I, I would have an opportunity to have Johnny Lawrence or the actor that plays a version of Johnny Lawrence on this podcast. Mm -hmm. I'll do any more interviews. I can end it right here and I'll be just happy. There you go. Oh, it's yep. done. Bucket list. Yep. <laughs> for, for the fans that don't know, uh, Thomas, how old are you? Well, I'm actually seven and a half right now. So, yeah, we yeah. count that half. There's we count that idea. half. Yes, yeah, we count that half because it's your because of eight. A half is a half worth. Yeah. I know it when is. you're. I remember when I was younger too, I used to always count the halves too. And as you get older, you start just, you know, kind of. You know, right. Yeah, you <laughs> let that go after a certain age. I've let that go already, so. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, and uh, Thomas, so you joined, uh, you know, this last season of Cobra Kai. Now, were you a fan of the Cobra Kai TV series before joining? Um, yes, I was a big fan. I watched some of one, mm -hmm. some of two, some of three, but when season four came out, oh, all of it, yeah. yeah, I watched it all. Yeah, he was a big fan of the Karate Kid yeah. um, stuff, and mm -hmm. but my husband and I, we, we binge watched all the seasons prior to him even auditioning for it, so yeah. we were big fans, and we grew up around that era of the Karate Kid, so we, we were huge fans, and Thomas watched all of them. Yeah. We had to kind of introduce him pretty early on to it yeah. so he was a big fan yes i was <laughs> still am yeah. and, and jessica do you have a uh, favorite karate kid movie growing up um you know i really don't i mean i liked one and two i mean um i i don't really well i have a favorite you have a favorite two it's probably my favorite okay because me and my brother yeah i don't think you like your well, no, I want to oh, go to Japan. Okay. I mean, okay. I just, because of COVID, we can't. Okay. We, but, we really want to go to Japan, yes, but we're, we we're putting it off because we just don't know the restrictions. Yeah. Right and that part too takes yeah. place in Japan. So yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's a big, that, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of good scenes in that. Yeah, so. there were. Yeah, I think he was so little when he watched it all, um, but he remembered he remembered that scene. That was a big scene for him, but being in Japan, right? Yeah. And but I really, you know, I mean, my husband, my husband is a huge Karate Kid fan, and he kind of that and the Goonies and Back to the Future, and so am I. Um, but uh, but so to to actually have him be a part of that is just yeah, absolutely crazy. Yeah, mind yeah. mind blowing. Mind -blowing. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, it coming, you know, full circle. And, and and Thomas, you said that Karate Kid 2 was probably your favorite. How did you feel about Chosen coming back at the, yeah, the last yeah. episode? Yeah, it was like, it was like a, what was it, what is it called? A cliffhanger. Yeah. Not a cliffhanger because Chosen was bad. Mm -hmm. But then he turned good. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Helped. Yeah. Be, you know. Time. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I don't know. Who yeah. knows? Um, did you have to meet, and Thomas, did you have to meet with uh, William Zapka before being selected? Like, or maybe Jessica, you can kind of fill us in too. What was the audition process like? How did uh, Thomas even find himself in the audition room? Well, yeah, the audition um, process of Cobra Kai was great. There was a lot of exciting yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, you love that. So we got the self-tape. So everything, every, ever since like COVID and stuff, everything is self-tape. So, so the agents send over stuff. And did you, we didn't know that it was, we knew it was yeah. Cobra Kai, but did you know you were uh, yeah. going to be Johnny? Yeah. I don't think when so. When we did so. the um, thing for you, uh -huh. um, we didn't know who we were. It had another name associated. We were still surprised, but when we figured out we were Johnny. Yeah, so we didn't know who he was auditioning for. It had somebody else's name attached. They know Joe. Yeah, well, no, they, it was no, it was a, a totally different name. So yeah, we didn't they know. Talk. So they auditioned, and then I think it was like the next day, or almost immediately after we got the email or the message that he had 
completely booked it. So he didn't have a call back. Like it was just, you know, that was it. And so we, we pretty soon after we went down to Atlanta and filmed it. So, mm -hmm. um, but, and then you went on set. And yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. So it was amazing. There were a lot of people, especially Johnny. I drew him a picture. Mm -hmm. I think it was so nice. He taught me the green pick. Yeah. That was pretty And fun. now I know it and it helps me because I am in karate and it yes. boosted my confidence. Wow. Karate. Yeah. So he, he did karate when he was four, but then COVID hit like right when he was in the middle of kindergarten. So that was kind of a bummer. And so we stopped everything, everything kind of stopped. And so now he's kind of getting back into it, but now he's pretty, he's feeling confident about being in karate now. So yeah. that really did definitely, but we, he met, we met uh, William Zapka uh, imme immediately after filming. So. Yeah. Because they were filming, I think, at the same time. They were. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're getting back into a karate, and maybe you can or cannot answer this, but are you preparing for next season? Yeah. Oh, I guess you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Oh, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, but I think, but it's it's great because his karate instructor, we didn't know, but he, he come, the first time that he joined karate, he came out with a Cobra Kai shirt on. And we, he wow. didn't know, we, he was in, you know, Cobra Kai. And so it was kind of a fun thing. And now they just, they've just bonded. So it's a nice little thing, but, um, but he loves it. And it's such a great confidence booster yeah, it's, it for the kids, you know, it's just, Absolutely. I mean, for anybody, but, um, but he's feeling pretty strong. Yes, so. I am. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, it's funny. I actually, uh, the last time I took karate was when I was seven years old and, uh, I lived, yeah, I was, I was the same age. I, I only did it for a short time and uh, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if, and just, you probably remember Ernie Reyes Jr. from like Ninja Turtles and oh, oh yeah. Yeah. He has a lot of karate dojos uh, in the Bay area, or at least back then he did. And I was fortunate to go into one of them. Oh my goodness. It's just crazy. So impactful at a young age. So yeah, being able to yeah. start is, is unbelievable. I wish I stuck to it right. a little bit longer. I, well, you know, it, it teaches them confidence and um, mm -hmm. discipline yep. and, you know, respect. And so, and then uh, occasionally he'll get to break a board or two and that's just sends yeah. him over the moon, you know. Yeah. He, yeah. I'm almost like in a few weeks, I'm about to test for my yellow belt. Yeah. So he's wow. getting some stripes. I have like three there. stripes. Yes. Yes. Three stripes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's great. It's just, we, we love it. And so we're, we're hoping he wants to continue with it for as long as he's happy with it. So. So Thomas, not to put you on the spot, but this, I'm just really curious to see prior to joining the show, were you team Cobra Kai or team Miyagi-Do? And then after being on the show, are you team Cobra Kai or team Miyagi-Do? Mm. Now Eagle yeah, fan, and now Eagle fan. I was probably. Were you a Cobra Kai fan? Um, I mean, well, yes, well, I was a Cobra Kai fan. Johnny was in it, mm -hmm. but that was before Eagle fan came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it had mm -hmm. to be Miyagi Do and yeah. Karate Kid. Okay, that's before. You. Yeah, Eagle Fang was actually mm -hmm. out. Right, but in then, Cobra Kai, Eagle Fang came in. It was and awkward. you just had to. Yeah, and just had to had switch it over. Back. Yeah, because then Cobra Kai. I mean, what happened? What's going on with them? Yeah. I don't know. Something's going on. And you know, just to kind of relate back to you know the scene that you had, the flashback scene. Um, I really, really thought you did a phenomenal job. Um, I'd be lying if I if I didn't admit and say that I had a little bit of a little bit of a tear in my eye. Like it just we want to know more about Johnny's backstory and kind of why you know he ultimately became who he who he ultimately is on the show today. You know, like the the latter part of his life, and you did such a good job. And I don't know what backstory they were able to give you or you know, can I have you do research, but awesome job. And I really want to see more of that backstory get carried on in the uh, in next season. Yeah. Yeah. It well, was, it, yeah. Yeah. He, he really um, he really did a great. I mean, yeah. when we watched it, too, it's just like it's so emotional watching yeah. that and just thinking I did try about. My best. Yeah. Well, you I mean, and you and, oh, yeah. the, and Candace, the mom, she was fabulous, yeah. too, who you yeah. acted with. Um, I mean, they were all so wonderful and, you know, providing direction and I mean, the director, Mary L. Woods, um, they've kept in touch. They're pen, they've been pen pals since the beginning. 
And so now she's doing great things and we're so proud of her. And um, yeah, we're OGs. Yeah, 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 you are OGs. So, but yeah, everyone's just on, just fabulous, fabulous people. It's, yeah. it's just wonderful to be a part of it. And I, I'd love to kind of learn a little bit more around kind of like what inspired Thomas to be an actor. Um, you know, kind of have you, have you done any plays? I know you have, um, you know, a little over 10 credits to your name already and that's climbing. But what inspired you to be an actor? What, what keeps you working every day? Well, first, at the very beginning, very beginning. I really yeah. didn't think about becoming an actor, but I really did like pretend. Yeah, he was, he was, he's, he had that personality. Yeah, I did. Yeah, early on, but we never thought about that. Yeah. Kind of stuff, so. But then my uncle um, needed a little boy in a movie. Mm -hmm. And then he thought about me. He thought I was perfect. So I did that movie, and um, there was someone named Linda Ashby, who mm -hmm. plays Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat in that movie. So I did that movie, and he liked me. So he called my talent agency mm -hmm. and said, he's really good. Yeah. And then my talent agency agreed. And then I went, I got on my talent agency. Okay. The West is history. Yeah. And what but what keeps you going? Are oh, you just, just keeps enjoying you going? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm just enjoying it, really. That's really all. And it's just a really fun experience. Mm -hmm. I get to meet a lot of people. Yeah. Get to travel places. I actually had to go to New York one time. Yeah, you went to New York. That yeah. was a big that, that was a big, was deal. A big deal. Yeah. And, and Thomas, do you have a favorite actor? Is there someone that you haven't worked with yet that you are hoping to work with one day? Mm -hmm. Well, probably Stranger person? Things. Oh, anybody oh, from yeah. Stranger Things? Anybody yeah. is witty from Stranger Things. But probably one that I met was probably either, definitely probably Johnny. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hawk. Oh, okay. yeah. Would you like to work yes. with him again? Yes. Yeah. Hawk and Johnny. Yeah, they were, they were both great people. Great. I mean, and, 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 you know, we keep balance, too. So we're a very normal balanced family you know we we I have an 11 year old too and and my husband's it's work he works and yeah. so we're all doing our normal day-to-day -day stuff but then in the in the meantime he's doing some pretty cool stuff and so but we're you know but he he loves it and we've always told him as long as you're happy and you're enjoying it and but he's got a great knack for picking up things and um and he loves it and he's happy and when you're when you're a parent too when you see that your child is enjoying themselves and happy and on fire about something um you just want them to keep going so yeah. and he's he's gotten some great roles and we've met yeah. some wonderful people and it's just yeah. been it's been fun so yeah yeah so we're proud of him and well, um, yeah, i'm proud of him. <laughs> more definitely and again you know amazing performance really really excited to see some of the upcoming projects that you're going to have are you able to share any of the upcoming uh, projects that yeah. you may have already shot? Anything that you are able to say and share? Well, um, yes. I'm um, filming two movies. Yeah, there's two movies that you're going to be filming soon. That I'm going to be filming One starts soon. next month. Yeah. So. But two that I filmed mm -hmm. already, one mm -hmm. called They Watch. They Watch? Yeah, uh -huh. and Waking in South Boy. Mm -hmm. They Watch is like a horror film, like, just like a PG-13. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 Yeah, we don't know the I don't know. I really don't know. Because it hasn't came out yet. Yeah. But um, also another called Waking in South Point, which is a, a kind of love story, I guess. Yeah, romance, yeah. Well, my aunt's, yeah. Yeah. So he, those are coming out, I think, in the summer. I mean, it just depends, you know. They're both coming just, out. So yeah, right. probably so. Well, on, on, hopefully on, we'll see what, what kind of platforms they come out on. Yeah. But, um, but we're really, I mean, it was a great experience. And and he was played one of the leads in Day Watch. And so he was the son. And um, that was a big role for him because he had to color his hair. And he had, and it didn't yeah. get out. So I actually, this is the actually here and here yeah. is all fake hair. Well, it's not well, fake. It's, it's real hair. It's real it's just, hair. It's just like, it, it still has that. It texture. still has a, well, so going from a blonde to a brown bright blonde like he is to a brown is not exactly the easiest thing to do mm -hmm. and he was he filmed for a month so it wasn't one of those like you know spray on colors like it was actually dyed and so we're it's a process but he's probably got about an inch left and 
Now After that, I had to like, take showers like twenty four seven, and it never came off. <laughs> yeah, this is it's, like it's been, like my real like uh-huh. hair color. This, right, that's your real hair color. It's just you know, well, but he, we'll see what happens. That whitish color. <laughs> we have to we have to be flexible. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I wanted to ask because I'm sure you've probably already you know been part of this too, but like the the fandom of Cobra Kai is just so big. And uh, oh, I know. so big, right? And uh, just kind of wondering, kind of, h- how does it feel to kind of be part of the fandom? Um, you know, obviously, there's fans from all over the world. I'm sure you're yeah. getting you know, messages about how uh, great you were, obviously, in, on the show. But how does it feel to be part of the fandom? And, uh, you know, just kind of are you, how, how are things different now than, you know, from, say, last year? Well, last year, you when I, I wasn't in Cobra Kai, so, but when I was in Cobra Kai, um, well, yeah, yeah it was great. The fans mm-hmm. all came. They were super supportive and super nice. Probably the best fans I've ever had. Yeah, they make a lot yeah. of good fan yeah. art for you. One actually and... made me a t-shirt, mm-hmm. and I actually have it. Yeah. So, yeah, I you had try it. To wear it a, we wear it quite yeah, a bit. We, yeah, we wear it quite a bit. <laughs> Yes. But yeah, I mean, it's been, we didn't, we didn't know going into it, like how big it was, but, um, but they've just been so sweet. I mean, everyone's just so sweet and so nice yeah. and so appreciative and loving and um, everything that we could have ever asked for. So it's been really nice. And so we'll, we'll see where it takes us, but um, it's nice yeah. to just talk to people from all over the world. It's crazy. Yeah. Like some of the the people that we, we talk to, it's like, wow, it's, you know, and for him to be able to interact with them too is amazing. So, especially for being only yeah. seven. So, but he's blown away f- by it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but the, the fan art too, like yeah. seriously, that fan art that they, they make That's not true. only drop, it's insanely yeah. good. It's they, crazy. They probably the best fan art I've seen. Well, probably the best art. Yeah. Seen. Yeah. Probably I mean, we've been to a lot of art. museums, but yeah. I mean, but those fan art was great. I mean, but they're so talented. Are, yeah, they are. And the edits they make, and yeah. I don't even know how they do it. I, 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 my fans, I definitely better than my, um, better than my brother's drawing. Yeah, it's better than my drawings too. Um, uh, better than my drawings. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you could see in this screen, maybe if I lift it up a little bit, but right there oh, is, uh, is Sean, K- well, I have a couple of different Karate Kid autographs, but the one on the right yeah. top is Mike Barnes and Vidal, mm-hmm. and that's a, a nice fan art, you know, picture, like, these things they had created, you know what I mean, I was fortunate to actually get that from Sean Kanan, but I also right. saw the one with, uh, with you, Thomas, where it's, you know, you and William Zapka when he was young, and just the similarity between oh. you two was just oh yeah, yeah that one. It was so scary. Like I, was, I, I saw it and I said, I can't believe that. Like the yeah. hair, the your teeth, yeah, were. It was. I think they, they must have been at least seven or eight or something like that when when it was taken. But, um, but yeah, some of the stuff that they do is just absolutely incredible. It is. And the Lego, there was a Lego yeah thing that they did too. Mm-hmm. Um. That was that. I mean, when he saw that too, because we're like Lego fans. Yeah, we're Lego fans. <laughs> you said yeah, no, that. it was Lego plus Johnny. Yeah. That just means like it's well, you just, it, it, it's just straight incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. So, and, and this is more of a, of a fan question of, of mine, Thomas. Did you get a chance to uh, to meet Ralph, Ralph Macchio, Daniel Lawrence? Or uh, Daniel? Yeah, we saw. Yeah, we we. Yeah, we did. did you see him? We yeah, we office? saw him. We, we did. Him? Yeah, we waved to him. We mm-hmm. didn't get his picture. No, we should have gotten a picture. But sure he was running. He was going to set, and we yeah. were going to set. And he was Thomas was in yeah. his set clothes. I was about to get and um, you know pictures take or pictures or do a scene. I think it was something like yeah, that. it was something like that. But, but now um, we're like, we saw oh, him. we should have. But we you know, but. We didn't take a picture. There's always next time. There always is. Yeah. yeah. And um, I did want to ask as well, too, um, what advice can you give to any aspiring, and this actually can be for, for both of you, what advice would you uh, give to an aspiring actor, you know, a young kid that wants to become an actor? Now that you're in the business, you're on the hottest TV show, uh, what advice would you give to any aspiring uh, kids that want to get into the business? 
Well, if they want to get into acting, they can sign up for like virtual acting classes yeah, or, or just will. acting act mm -hmm. classes. And they can teach you about that. You can become really good mm -hmm. in that. And if you still want to go, you can play shows with your mom and dad. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know it, you pretty much you can have um advice from your mom and dad. Yeah, like, you know they can help about out. acting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. And so I mean, and and it's it's true too. I mean, because we we get that question a lot, and we had a we have a, a our family's kind of in the film business, so we I I was able to kind of you know, bounce ideas off of our family members or my brother or my sister-in-law or something like that. So, but not everyone has that. So I think, you know, and we've, we've told our friends too, who've been interested, like mm -hmm. sign up for acting classes and yeah. get experience. And um, yeah. there's backstage.com, which is kind of like, you know, you can sign up and you can, you can see what kind of short films and student films that Thomas has done quite a bit of student films. Yeah. yeah. And it's, I mean, get, get that experience and be on set because yeah. you don't know, if you're really gonna like it, because there's you have to be really patient when you're on set, because there's a yeah, lot, there's a lot of waiting. There is, a lot of waiting, um, but there's also a lot of fun. Experience. There's there's a lot of fun experience, probably more than waiting, right? Yeah, so, probably more than waiting. But you know, I mean, so you know, get that experience and stuff like that. But it's um, it's been a fun ride. That's yeah, for sure. it has. So definitely. it's been a fun ride. But we definitely encourage the the classes and. Um, researching it as much as possible because yeah. there's a lot to it but it's it's super fun it is super fun definitely a fun job yes it is <laughs> absolutely and i do want to uh leave you with one last question thomas i know we kind of touched on this question a little bit earlier but i always love ask uh, asking the uh, the actors or actresses that come on the show when you're not working what shows are you guys binge watching what are you binge watching when you're not working or in school or doing karate well, we usually watch Avatar. Yeah, um, Avatar. You like yeah, Avatar? we did watch Stranger Things, but except mm -hmm. we ran out of episodes. Well, yeah, but then yeah. I just showed them today that that season four is coming out. And the new season's coming out. Yeah. They're doing two and parts, I think, right? They're doing a part one and part two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's going to be cool, yeah. I'm pretty excited about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, Thomas yeah. likes Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls, Amphibia. Those yeah. are all great shows to watch. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, he likes a lot of those. And then, um, what's that? What's that really gross one that you watch, Doctor Pimple Popper? Oh yeah, Dr. he likes Doctor Pimple Popper. <laughs> is that on Wait. Netflix or YouTube or what? What channel is that on? Or uh, broadcast? That's, that's on some Discovery thing. Or yeah, something. I like, can't um, even watch it. He usually watches it when I'm cooking. So that's not a good I, match. I watch, oh my God. I watch it with my dad some a lot of times. Yeah, you guys are when just, we're home alone. Yeah, when you're home alone without me being around. Yeah. So, but yeah, he's got a lot of a lot of interest. So sometimes when you're cooking, I'm sorry because you may feel gross out by your mm -hmm. food. Yeah, you may think like there's pimples. In your <laughs> I hope there's no pimples in my food. I like you made it or something. <laughs> Awesome. So I live in a house of boys. Like uh, that's all boys. All boys. It's just, just I'm the only girl. Boys filled with house. Boys. Mm -hmm. Wait, houses filled with boys. That's kind of how it is. It is. So but we're fun. like equal to two boys. Yeah. <laughs> equal. Actually, mm -hmm. three because dad. Mm -hmm. My dad yeah. is a boy. <laughs> yeah, multiple dojos in the house. Yeah, multiple dojos. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they've all got their own little personalities I too, love, which kind of, yeah. you know. One day they're Cobra Kai. My older son's more Miyagi Do. Yeah, and um, we'll yeah, see. I would be Cobra Kai if I didn't know what that Cobra Kai was. Yeah. Or Eagle Fang or Miyagi Do. Yeah, I love the rest of my brother. Yeah, and sick. if I knew what like those stages meant, mm -hmm. but I didn't know the whole backstory to it, yeah. I would have picked Eagle Fang because I love the rest of my brother. But mm -hmm. my brother would definitely go Miyagi Do. What about Miyagi you? Do. What would you pick? So for me, it's, you know, the way that I, I've always uh, kind of envisioned Karate Kid, I always kind of tied it to the Rocky series as well, too, right? So oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I, was, I was a really big fan of, uh, of Rocky. So like when I saw Karate Kid, it was just, you know, kind of like a, you know, another right. ghost. So it's the same director that directed yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Karate Kid. So uh -huh. um, it'd be really hard for me to not say that I'm Team Miyagi-Do. Yeah. Because, you know, we grew up with Mr. Miyagi. And I'm I know. Ralph Macchio fan as well too. I love, you know, the, my cousin Vinny. 
I uh -huh. love it. So like, I'm, I'm always going to be, I think, at least for now, Team Miyagi Do. But I just yeah. love, I love how Cobra Kai has just expanded, and you know, know. some of the rules yeah. that we thought were supposed to be a certain way, they're kind of, you know, evolving. Even right. Greece yeah. seems to be evolving, which I never thought Greece would evolve. So. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. Well, we felt for him when he was he was going to jail too. We're like, oh yeah. My God. Yeah, that's yeah. sad. But um, what team do you pick? You what team? Pick? Oh, I mean, I don't know. What that's a hard choice. Team? Well, I don't know. Probably Eagle Fang. Uh, I mean, I love John and Lance. Yeah, so. yeah. My dad's in the Navy, so he's probably Eagle Fang. He probably is Eagle Fang. He probably is. I don't know. It's it's a hard decision. So they're also great, and that the tournament scene with all of them together, and when they come and they combine those forces at the end. I mean, it's just yeah, yeah. It's it's so great. I mean, I, I it's love it. Show. Yes, it is. We're very, very, John and all of the, the, the creators are just fabulous and brilliant. I mean, to come up with this whole, you know, Miyagi verse. Yeah. yeah. We're it's excited. Miyagi universe. It is. You just see a bunch of Miyagi sweet <laughs> Miyagi photos. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens Miyagi. next in season five. I don't know. Yeah. So yes, really looking forward to it. And uh, and Thomas, what I want to do is I want to save some room for round two. So if we find out that you're coming back next season, we definitely want to bring you back. And again, I never thought yeah. that you know when I when I started this podcast that I'd ever have you know Johnny Lawrence coming on. So yeah. it's, it's an honor of mine. You did an amazing job, and really excited with uh, what's to come with uh, with Cobra Kai and also your upcoming projects and, and Jessica thank you for helping set this no up this pleasure, pleasure to have you guys join today yeah you too you take care of yourself bye well oh, now not yet bye <laughs> thank you very much thank you very much take care yeah you're welcome. no problem we'll talk soon Sounds bye good. bye, bye.